Today, we're doing part 10 of the Honda VF1100. Now, last video was all about the engine swap, moving these, and adding a bunch of cross bracing. This video is going to be about finally disassembling the entire frame, welding it all together. Then we can focus on the floor pan, focus on the front brakes, finish the rear brakes, finish the rear axles, and then once we do all that, then we can reassemble it and focus on the gas pedal, clutch pedal, and brake pedal. So, I went to uh, Harbor Freight today and tried to buy an, a cherry picker, an engine hoist. They didn't have any in stock, they didn't have any of the one ton or the two ton uh, cherry pickers. So, I bought one of these things. I'm hoping it's going to work. I'm really hoping it's not going to bring the ceiling down on my head, but uh, I really don't have any other option. Because I really need to get the engine out to weld the entire frame together so that I, because I need to flip it on its, on its uh, roof. And I don't want to do that with the engine in here. So I need to figure out a way to get this engine out. And this is the only way I can really figure out how to do it. So uh, let's see if this works. I'm hoping it doesn't bring the roof down on my head. There we go. That did not want to come off. Okay. That was the easy part, actually. Can you guys keep an eye on the roof? If you see it bending, let me know. Now the hard part is, because I, it's now lifted up, it's, I can't like, you know, just move the frame to the side because it's being, it's suspended in the middle of the frame. So now the challenging part is to get this on the floor, out of, out of the way of the frame, when I can't move the frame. So, 
The only way I can really figure out like how this could work is if I like twist the frame to the side so it like, you know, drops down right here. So is this gonna work? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, can somebody come hold this for me? That'd be awesome. No? Nobody? Okay, I'll hold it then. Ooh, Ooh there we go. Okay. Now, if I can just move this. I'd move the camera right now so you can see what I'm doing, but I kind of have a, my hands cold, so... Just imagine that it's almost touching the ground. That actually worked. The ceiling didn't come crashing down. Nothing broke, hopefully. Everything is still in one piece. The frame is not really that heavy. I mean, it's, you know, it's moderately oh, heavy, but it's not like, you know, I can't pick it up heavy, so. All right, that actually worked. Uh, now we can finally weld the entire frame together. Yeah, why is it, why is that chain like so greasy?
We finally welded the entire frame together. I know I said before building this thing that I was planning on TIG welding the entire frame together. I thought about doing that, but then realizing that it's probably going to take over a week. It already took me four days to MIG weld this whole thing together. So I decided to just do that because I'm kind of pressed for time right now. We also installed the floor pan. We got that thing installed. We fixed the problem of the front CV hubs. I just put a bolt through it and tightened the crap out of it. We also installed the front uh, uh, brake calipers and finished the rear CV axles. I am really hoping these are going to be strong enough to hold up to the torque of this engine. Also, that there's no differential on this thing. So turning on the road is definitely going to cause a lot of strain with this thing. I am hoping these aren't going to snap in half. So uh, I did TIG weld it. Not really sure how many passes I did with TIG welding the entire thing, but uh, I think it's like over 10. So it's definitely hopefully going to be strong enough to hold up to everything that this thing is going to be doing. Um, I wanted to install the the brakes, the or the brake pedals, the clutch pedal, brake pedal, gas pedal, but I'm kind of running out of time with this video. I know I say that for every video, but um, I'm actually leaving you know, on Friday. I'm going to the Gambler 500 in Oregon. Go Power Sports is going. They offered me to go, and of course I said yes. I have tomorrow to finish this video, edit it, and upload it, and get ready to go. I need to be at the airport at 3 in the morning on Friday. So I need to end this video so I can edit it and upload it and get ready to go for that. So um, I have to thank Go Power Sports for sending me the parts I use for this thing, plus all the other parts that they have sent me that I haven't put on here yet. Links in the description below to, to where you guys can find all that stuff. But uh, I gotta end this video here. Thank you all for watching. I'll see ya in the next video. So like everything moved and shifted once I welded it. None of these holes are lighting up. Everything is just not really working. It's just binding up and Okay, hang on. This is just not working. Hang on. So I kind of want to see how balanced these tires are. So let's find out. Let's see. There we go. That's not bad. I don't even want to touch that. Let's, let's, try, let's try that again in third gear. There we go. If I push my drill too hard and it like there's too much resistance, it quits. So that's interesting. It's probably not a good idea. Let's not do that anymore. It's the tires are pretty balanced. That's not actually that bad. I'm surprised. <laughs> Let's not do that anymore. That hurt. <laughs>